major water bodies of the world. Water is one of the most important resources for life to exist on the earth. About three-fourths of the earth's surface is covered with water, that is, 71%. Out of it, approximately 97% of water lies in oceans and seas, which is saline, and the remaining approximately 3% is fresh water in which 2% is in the form of ice caps or glaciers and remaining 1% available in groundwater, rivers, etc. Distribution of Water Bodies Oceans Oceans are the largest source of surface water. There are five major oceans according to their size and they are as follows. Pacific Ocean It stretches from the western coast of the Americas to the eastern coast of Asia and Australia. It is the largest and deepest ocean in the world. In the north, it joins the Arctic Ocean through a narrow strait called the Bering Strait and in the south, it merges with the Atlantic and the Indian Oceans. Atlantic Ocean It is positioned between the Americas to the west and Europe and Africa to the east and connects the Arctic Ocean to the north and the Southern Ocean to the south. Indian Ocean Indian Ocean extends from Africa to Australia, from west to east side, and from the north it is bounded by Asia. In the south, it merges with the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans. Southern Ocean It is also known as the Antarctic Ocean. It is encircled with Antarctica and is characterized by its extremely cold waters. Arctic Ocean It is the smallest and the shallowest of the world's oceans. It is located around the North Pole and lies mostly within the Arctic Circle. Seas Seas are partially enclosed by land, typically with a narrow connection to the open ocean. They are often connected to oceans through straits or channels, such as the Mediterranean Sea, connected to the Atlantic Ocean through the Strait of Gibraltar. Some seas are landlocked, like the Caspian Sea, the Black Sea and the Dead Sea. Some seas are marginal or open and are partially surrounded by land, like the Arabian Sea, the South China Sea, the Beaufort Sea, and the Sea of Okotusk and the Coral Sea. Dead Sea, where swimmers can float in it because the increased salt content makes it dense. Rivers A river is a large, natural stream of flowing water. It is found on every continent and on nearly every kind of land. Some rivers flow all year round and others flow seasonally or during the rainy season. There are three main stages of a river, namely upper course or source zone, middle course or transition zone, and lower course or floodplain zone. Upper course. It is an origin place of river where river flows over steep slopes and has a lot of energy. It creates, at this stage, V-shaped and I-shaped valleys as well as waterfalls. Middle course. Generally at this stage, a river is fed by many tributaries. The width of the river also increases. The flood plains begin to form just before it enters its final stage. Landforms like U-shaped valleys are formed during this stage. Lower course. It is the final course of the river. At this stage, the river has a high volume along with a lot of sediment. The river becomes deep and wide. Since the river erodes sideways, it shifts its course from side to side due to obstacles. Large loops called meanders are formed as a result. Sometimes the river may cut across the neck of the meander to form a straight river channel. The cut-off portion forms an oxbow lake. Another very important feature is the formation of deltas and estuaries. Lakes A lake is a natural large body of water surrounded by dry land. Sometime it is built by humans, example, Gobind Balla Pant Sagar Lake in India. 
lakes are often fed by small streams flowing underground. Many lakes are freshwater reservoir and account for almost all the world's surface freshwater. There are some salt lakes with high salinity. Water pollution. Water pollution can be occur from chemical pollutants include heavy metals such as uranium, thorium, radon, pesticides and fertilizers. Physical pollutants include sediment, trash and debris and biological pollutants consist of pathogens, bacteria and viruses. Impacts of water pollution. It may cause diseases such as cholera and diarrhea. It affects aquatic ecosystems leading to the decline of fish populations. It may lead to skin irritations when one swims in polluted water or wears washing clothes from polluted water. Thus, water is one of the crucial things on this planet to survive. It is a primary source of living life on the earth. If you choose not to save water and necessarily clean water, you have almost invited yourselves to end your wish to live a healthy life.